Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Ganchi Plans. If you are new around here, my name is Rebecca and I am having a baby at the end of the month. So this video is filmed in advance, um, which is why it still has like some March stuff in here. Um, but this is the flip through for April 2022. Um, and I do post a flip through video every month. So do subscribe if you're interested. There's going to be a couple of baby related videos, but not a lot. I mostly do planner stuff here. This is my Filofax Malden pocket size ochre color. Um, I also use this as my wallet, so it does have a card uh, pocket that I take out for flip throughs. And then there's some cards in the front, like my library card, gas card, stuff like that, insurance information, which I'm not going to show you a lot of in the front, except for, like, I have some flags, page flags, that's cool. I have a little bit of change in here because I've started using cash a little bit more since my office moved next door to 7 Eleven and I have access to an ATM more frequently. <laughs> Um, I keep a Pilot G2 here in the rings. If you use a Malden or have you ever had a Malden, you know that the uh, pen loop is not very big. So I keep the pen in the rings and I just pull it out whenever I'm using it. You get used to it. Um, in the back, I keep a little cash, a couple of personal checks, and right now, my birth plan. Because um, my plan right now is to... Um, I, with my last baby in 2020... My husband wasn't allowed to come up to triage with me. Um, they may have relaxed that restriction, but they also might tighten them down again because really who knows with COVID. Um, so I'm planning to be able to take up just my planner with like my insurance information and birth plan and then like one little zipper bag from the inside of my um, hospital bag that has like some labor support tools uh, in it and then just have those two things and then my husband can carry the big bag up with him when he does get to come up So that's why I have my labor plan in here But other than that, you don't get to see it. You just get to see the planner stuff um, Let's go ahead and flip through all of these tabs are from Marlene's plan to create on Etsy um, And I've had them in here forever. I put them in and I've never taken them out because they're so versatile um, And I really love them so this is an inbox, a general place to keep notes if I need them. This is the previous inbox that got full and I just haven't gone through to decide that I definitely don't need the information anymore. So it's still there. This is kind of a brain dump to do list, not really brain dump, but like I'll put it somewhere. And then if it doesn't belong on this week's weekly or specifically to get done this month, something like that, I'll put it here as like a project or a to do item. Um, and then these things will get pulled over to my weekly at some point. A waiting on list which I use sometimes um, this is a dated this is the 52 weeks dated insert from my shop hey by the way I make inserts at ganchyplans.com this is insert number 52 conveniently I use this sometimes to sort of plan out when I'm going to work on projects like this week really the thing that I'm working on is the well my mom and mother-in-law are throwing us a little sprinkle because we're having our first boy so we need some boy clothes and so it's very sweet of them but there's a couple of things that they need from me they need to borrow some baby dolls because I'm the one who owns baby dolls um, they need me to like print a picture of the ultrasound and stuff like that so that's the project for this week because it's time sensitive and then next week we're going to be um, prepping for a visitor, so I just want to make sure that like, the house is clean. But also, it's my first week of maternity leave, so I want to work on the baby's closet. Stuff like that. So that I can kind of plan projects out in advance and try not to, like... Sometimes life gets busy and you have a bunch of projects that are due around the same time, so you'd like to be able to plan them out backwards. So that's what I use this for. Um, this insert is actually from Peanuts Planner Co., and it's for small projects. Um, a lot of them now, the ones I'm actually doing are in a, a I think this tab, um, and I'll be showing that to you later. Someday maybe list, I don't look at this very often. This is my projects. I actually did finish this one, the like craft projects. I do like a cross stitch of my kids' names. I did Agnes's, I started hers, my oldest daughter, uh, after she was born finished it pretty quickly, started my second daughter's before she was born and finished it, like got it up on the wall at 18 months old. So it, uh, it's really not that complicated of a project. I just never finished it. And I've started on our son's. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get his done before he's born and then I won't actually have anywhere to put it. So the first of these top tabs is for the month um, and also future log. So I still have March in here. 
I do monthly plan with me videos, so you can check out how these are all planned, except this one I forgot to film. So you just got an overview. Here's April. Um, these guys at the front of my monthly setups are freebies on my shop. And this is everything I have planned for the first month of maternity leave. You can see how it's going or how it will be going. Um, I'm using my this tracker for like labor induction type things. Prep, labor prep. You ch do what you can to pretend that you have some sense of control over the situation. Um, and then the baby just comes whenever he wants. Then I also have May already set up um, because I am not going to feel up to planning and decorating a monthly when I'm, you know, in the first week of a newborn's life. This is my future log. It's insert 54 for 2022. And then this is for after 2022. These here are all folded up. These are school calendars. Um, and so I, I reference these when I need to, and I just keep them folded up so that I don't have to worry about hiding them in videos. Um, and that way they also fit without having to like resize or do anything to the information. These are some recurring tasks. These are the ones that happen not on a schedule. And then these are the ones that do happen on a schedule. I just kind of keep track of like the last time certain things were done or the next time certain things need to be done. My husband changed my brakes. So he wanted me to note down when it was done and how many uh, miles were on the car at that point. So that if he ever asks again, I know where the information is because I am the person who is able to keep track of that kind of thing in our relationship. He's the one who's able to change the brakes on my car. So it's a symbiotic relationship. These are library books that are checked out currently. Oh, you know what? I just got a text from the library. I'm like, huh, some of them, some of them must be done, uh, due. Maybe it's, oh, this one. This one's due. All right. I also requested another audio book because we're slowly working our way through Narnia. Um, and we just finished The Horse and His Boy. My daughter's only three and a half and she doesn't pay attention to a lot of it. So I'm sure we'll be here again at some point. Um, these are birthdays and anniversaries. So this is like an evergreen spread, um, because you put the year instead of like the age. So you can put, um, well, I'll have a birthday to add to this pretty soon. These are weeks. Uh, I've got all of March going. And then this is the last week of March. And then the first week of April, I'll start here with my closet monsters. As you can see, it's set up and beautiful because I did decorate everything in advance, um, but I'm not going to do a lot of planning in advance, just like the week before, probably. Like this last week of March, I'm going to be prepping some stuff for the first week of April because I do like to have, you know, my to-do lists ready to go. So that's what that looks like. You got to see this. Or did you? I hope this video has already come out because I'm not paying attention to the order <laughs> that I'm pre-filming things in. Um, but there you go. They're all decorated and ready and I can just fill them out and then they'll look nice and I'll be more likely to use them, but I didn't have to put all the effort in, in the middle of the fog. Uh, I can just use it when I need it. This last tab is for dailies. Um, I probably will pull out some of these because once they're used, you don't really need to use them again. Um, this is the day I'm filming this. And so I felt like I needed a daily that had um, hour, a time ladder on it. Um, but I don't always use dailies. Sometimes whatever's on the weekly is fine. Um, and so I just have a section here with dailies and I pick the one, I have a few different options. Um, and I pick the one that appeals to me that day and pull it up to the front. And, uh, that's the one I use that day. And it's, it's a tool, you know, I'll usually use some highlighter to de like decorate it a color, but I don't really use a lot of stickers cause I'm not like there all the time. I'm only there for one day. This is my content calendar. I'm only going to show you March because it's already, you'll already have seen all of this. Um, here I am at the beginning of the week. Um, and you can see I've already filmed, like this is the week that, oh, that April video. <laughs> yeah, that I just mentioned, I forgot to film. That's the one that came out this week. So this is where I plan all my stuff in advance. This is the left half of the dated monthly insert on my shop. Um, and then I, cut it so that it fits on the right. <laughs> then this next section is pregnancy stuff. Um, this is 
all mostly from the pregnancy bundle on my shop, insert 40. I want to do a, sort of an overhaul of it, but if you buy it now, you'll get the, the new version and the old version. Um, this is the like weeks pregnant calculator and I use this all the time or calendar. So if, like, for example, I can't remember what, you know, how many weeks I am. It's currently the 28th of March as I'm filming this, which means that I turned 35 weeks on Saturday. So that's, that's my turnover date is Saturday. So on the 26th, I turned 35 weeks. So then I can count, you know, one, two more days. <laughs> this is 35 plus two. Um, this video I think is coming out on what the, you can tell me in the comments if I get this right, I think it's coming out on April 14th. Um, so I will be 37 and one, one, two, three, four, five days pregnant. Um, so there you go. Then I've clipped a bunch of these together so that you can't see. It's got doctor's appointments and questions for the doctor, which I don't want you to see, but this here has the week per or page per week um, with all the stats. And I, you can't see this week's because I clipped it to the last page, but this is, you know, shows you, you know, what size the baby is and a vegetable. This is one of the things I'm going to overhaul, but um, you just put any kind of symptoms and notes and stuff like that. Um, weight and blood pressure tracking, which I need to do more consistently, but I don't, I mean, maybe I should, if my doctor told me to, I would totally do it, but it's like an optional thing for me. So I don't. <laughs> and then there's just like a week, a uh, monthly checklist. I'm on month eight right now. And so I've already made some pretty good, um, progress on this. The, uh, I need to do this. Yeah. And then this, I really can't do until after the shower because I don't want to buy something that someone else is going to buy for me, you know? Um, I put it on month eight before I knew that the shower was going to be at the beginning of month nine. Very excited. This is my last week of work before I go on maternity leave. This is the go bag packing. There's a couple of things in here that I still have to add, like my charger cable. I'm going to use the one that lives at the office. Um, so that comes home with me on my last day of work and we'll go straight into the labor bag. Kit counter, which I don't do as often as I should. I'm supposed to do kit counts every day, right? But then like he'll get super wiggly and I'm like, okay, that counts. Like he's definitely doing at least 10 movements in 10 minutes. And so I don't even bother. So I haven't actually sat down and counted how many minutes it takes since I was 32 weeks along. I try to do it at least once or twice a week, um, but I haven't, I've been pretty lazy lately. Um, but the idea is you put the start, you know, the date, the start time, and then you just put a check every time until you feel 10 movements. And then you put the end time and then you can calculate this minus this equals how many minutes it took. Then these are the vitamins and, and supplements and medicines that I'm supposed to be on. I got COVID back in January, so they put me on baby aspirin as well as vitamin C and D. Um, and then I got added iron recently. The Tums are pretty much a nightly thing. Um, and then, the oh, this is some notes I took on some those those things that are on my April monthly tracker. Um, Brad raspberry leaf tea, which I've been cold brewing in the fridge and that actually works really well. Dates that's going to start, um, when I start April. So I will already be doing that. I like dates, so that's easy. Um, mile circuit, uh, starts, you can start that at 37 weeks, 10 minutes per thing. None of this is medical advice. This is just what I sort of did some research on and decided on. The only thing that like seems super dangerous and never ever do is castor oil, <laughs> but I don't think it'll come to that. The next section here is now my maternity leave uh, project section. This little sticker is from the little red house. She's on Etsy. Um, so this I made up last week as a sort of ideal day spread to kind of give me some ideas of like when in my day I can sort of time block. So we drop off my older daughter at school. And then I'd like to try to get to daily mass when I can. I'm going to have my 18 month old with me. Um, and so while she's napping, I can work on a project while she's napping. I can nap <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, I'd like to try to get, you know, out and doing something outside. Um, maybe I can also do some like curb walking or something while the girls are playing on the playground, that kind of thing. And then this here, um, was ideas of what to do depending on what my toddler is doing, um, which I then migrated and in, over into this format. So this makes more sense to me. So basically if the toddler is napping, these are all the things I can do. 
if she's, you know, with her dad on the weekend and he's watching her and keeping her out of trouble, then I can do stuff. Um, and same for like, yeah, if she's helping me, there's only certain things that she could really be helpful with. So she also though really likes to play outside while I'm doing garden stuff. So that's exciting. And I can pretty much meal prep no matter what she's doing, just as long as she's not being too clingy. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. And I think the clinginess will probably only get worse as she starts to note, like, I feel like she'll get sort of the vibe that the new baby's almost here, you know? This is the closet organization system that I have planned. Um, we're getting some of these as gifts, I think. Others I might have to buy for myself, but I really want to organize the closet because I realized a few weeks ago that I had nowhere to put the baby's clothes. Oops. <laughs> we already have two girls in the nursery, um, and so we just have to move stuff around. Mostly, if we get all of the blankets somewhere not in the drawers, then there will be a couple of drawers freed up for him to use. Um, and we'll, yeah, I'm, ex I'm kind of excited for it because I love a freshly organized space. Um, so these are, I mentioned before, the Peanuts Planner Co. inserts that I'm using up front. I'm using also here for the projects that I want to get done during maternity leave, which if I have the energy and time. Um, starting with the most important, the nursery closet, and then some other stuff um, for the rest of the house and my life. I have to get Easter stuff done because I think this is actually coming out on like Holy Thursday. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'll have gotten, you know, Easter baskets squared away by then. I have some knitting I can do if I want to just sit down and work on something. And then this tab here is for the baby sprinkle. Um, we just had a sort of planning meeting and I was assigned a couple of tasks. So those are here. It is not pretty. Um, and then the last tab is kind of a catch all for everything else um, that doesn't have a home. So I have these meal planning inserts and I love them. These are insert 27 in the shop. But uh, I haven't been using them as much lately because my husband's between jobs and he's therefore at home and doing more of the cooking. Um, and so our meal plan or like we don't do a plan as in like a schedule. We just have a list of what we have the ingredients for. And that's now living on the family calendar in the living room or I guess it's the dining room. So I'm not keeping it here as much because it needs to be shared. And I just make a point of writing it there instead and keeping it up to date there. Um, but this has that space for like what you have the ingredients for. I use the circle for how shelf stable it is. And then the square for have the ingredients, made the food, ate the leftovers. Um, and then you can actually make a schedule here, um, whether it's just like, oh, these are the nights that we're going to be visiting friends or eating at a restaurant um, and, or, you know, whatever. Um, or whether you're actually saying, okay, this is pizza night and this is spaghetti night. Um, it's two weeks worth of schedule there and then a grocery list on the back. And I really do love this. I just haven't been using it as consistently lately because of events in life. But I still have them here because <laughs> whenever I need one, I never seem to have one. So I want to make sure I have some. I have some gift ideas, some wish list items, my to read, watch, listen list, which I just, I don't, don't flip back here lately as much. Um, but it's all here and I know where it is. And then the very, very last tab is blank paper. Uh, I printed some more of these little mini notes. Oh, some of these are upside down. That's fine. <laughs> so insert 70, uh, checklists, grid pages. And then I also have some sticky notes from Peanuts Plant Co. I love her stuff. All right. And that's basically it. Oh, except for in the back. The very, very last thing in here, which actually both of these are done. And it's convenient because these post-it flags are exactly the right width when you're in the pocket size. This is the sort of tab index. So I keep it in the back so that the front is pretty, but whenever I'm rearranging stuff that's in different tabs, like the um, pregnancy projects and shower planning, I will put on here on some stickies. And that way, if I ever forget where everything is, I just flip here and go, okay, that here, pregnancy, and then I lift this flap and it's this section. Because um, that works for me, because the front section doesn't have a tab, so I do it backwards, if that makes sense. Um, but whichever way works for you, six tabs, six items, and six like categories of stuff, and then you never lose track of where everything is. Um, there you go. Oh. 
These are from Mad Hatter. I should put those away in my new, newer sticker organization book, which I made a video about, which you can go find if I forget to link it. All right, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you are enjoying your life wherever you are, um, whether you, like me, are 38 weeks pregnant and done or somewhere else in life. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video next week, which I also have filmed in advance. So it's going to be past Rebecca here for a while, but I will be keeping uh, you updated on the community tab as things progress in my uh, real time. So see you then. Bye. Thank you.